You guys, while you still have your do something about it. He did public comment in Santee. It's one week after a teenager's concerns of a transgender woman at the YMCA brought international attention to the East County. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I am Wale Aliu. Tonight, the transgender woman at the center of that locker room controversy shares her side of the story from the same podium where the teenager brought her concerns to the city council. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is live in Santee with this woman's message and what others had to say regarding the issue. Kimberly Wale, good evening. Uh, there were plenty of those supporting Kristen Wood with signs in their hands showing their love for her. On the flip side, there were others who were asking the city of Santee to somehow step in on when and how and if so, or and who is allowed inside the women's locker room at the Cameron Family YMCA. They're interrupting. No. Do something Try. about this. I They're interrupting. Heated debate inside the Santee City Council chambers on Wednesday night. It appears that I inadvertently caused quite a scandal on the morning of Thursday, December 29th, 2022. Kristen Wood speaking to the Santee City Council, her story about what happened that morning. As we reported, the issue at hand stemming from a 17-year-old girl saying she saw the backside of a transgender woman in the shower. That person was Wood. She says seeing the love and support from those at the meeting is giving her energy. Honey, I don't run from lies and threats and bullies. That's just not in my DNA. After Wood shared her personal story, stating that she's fully transitioned and the impact the situations had on the transgender community during public comment, there were some who had a different stance. If everyone can be a woman, then no one is a woman. If feelings now drive and supersede basic biology, then anything goes. We are not going to bow down to your gender ideology cult. We're not. Your fantasy land. It doesn't make it real because it's your fantasy land. So here's what needs to happen tonight. You guys, while you still have your do something about it. One of those speaking out for Wood is Dr. Bonnie Price, who's known Wood for two decades. When people can get remedies for pain, we use medical science. There's joy in her that she hasn't felt in years. Others who attend the same YMCA as Wood, voicing their opinion to support compassion in the community. Dignity, equity, and respect for all citizens of Santee, and hopefully supporting safe spaces where everyone has a place to go and feel connected and supported. Santee's mayor says that he and the vice mayor have met with the YMCA and they're working with their legal team and are going to make sure that everyone in this community feels safe and valued. Reporting live here in Santee, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.